Well, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming along. Very important announcement for us today, and we have the dawn of an exciting new era, right, with the appointment of Scott Waters, right, as our senior coach at the St Kilda Footy Club. We've gone through a comprehensive process, and uh, it's been actually adjudicated, if you like, by uh, a Claire Prideau, who I think you probably all know, but if uh, an Olympic background, Chris Pelchin, Michael Nettlefold and Nathan Burke. And they've also been ably supported by Andrew Thompson, Brad Johnson and Ian McLeod. And there's been some criticism, the process has been lengthy, but if you can get somebody of this quality uh, anywhere in four weeks, I think you've done a brilliant job. And I commend those people for the work that they've done right, in this appointment. We're very pleased to have uh, Scott on board. It's exciting for all at the club. And uh, supporters, members, I'm sure, are looking forward to a very successful 2012. And congratulations, Scott. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, it, it is exciting. Um, it's a group that I've admired from, a, I guess, a, an opposition competitive point of view for the last two or three years, their, their spirit. Um, so now to actually be a part of that uh, and have the opportunity to work with that type of group, oh, look, it, it's fantastic and I can't wait to get into it. Uh, look, late yesterday afternoon, um, without going into all the details, but basically uh, over a coffee uh, with Michael and Chris Pelton, it was um, after, after a lengthy process, which I know has been already discussed, but a process that I, I thought was really thorough, really professional, um, and actually gives me a great deal of confidence to move forward from that process. So late yesterday afternoon, and it's, um, as you could imagine, it's been a pretty busy last 12, 24 hours. Um, look, I'd like to think that I want to be part of a team here. Um, so making sure we can build a really positive environment um, we've got some great assistant coaches that are, that are already there, making sure that we're a really empowered group. We've got opportunities within our development area to really improve in that area. We've got a strong leadership group. So it's uh, probably bringing all those factors together uh, and making sure that we move forward, not just as a footy team, but as a club next year. So uh, it's, a, it's a really, I think with any change, there's great opportunity. Um, and just excited about that opportunity and everyone can embrace that. I think where football is uh, right now, you have to be able to, certainly you want to contend, but at the same time, you need to rebuild. Um, it's a constant process and one doesn't mutually exclude the other. Um, we've got some really talented kids on our list that will need to earn the opportunity to play, but the opportunity is going to be there. Um, Sipos, Cripps, Ledger, these are some, some kids that are, are really exciting. But we've also got a really strong group of, of core leaders who are outstanding players lead the club particularly well. So we'll blend both of those together. Um, not going to make predictions on you know, where and when and, and how, but um, our expectations are both on and off the field that we'll set really high, high benchmarks and we'll aim to achieve that. But there are so many elements of uh, what St Kilda have been about in the last two or three years that I am an admirer of. Um, the defensive DNA of this footy club, um, I think from a competition level, has been admired. The game changes and moves so quickly now that even in a three to six month period, a game plan evolves and changes. We want to be at the forefront of that. Um, I won't go into specifics, but there are some opportunities for us as a group to work on over the pre-season. And we'll continue to evolve, um, not just in the next three to six months, but over the next two to three years. You've got to stay ahead of the game. We'll take some of what's been great, um, and with input from a number of parties, we'll add some, add some different layers to it as well. Oh, I, th I think you're always working on club culture. Um, not just not just our club, but I think any club. That's an ongoing uh, ongoing education and an ongoing uh, experience, I guess. So, you know, we've had some uh, some challenging times over the last two or three years. Um, we've had some great times as well, been really competitive. But you, you put all those experiences together, and that brings you to the point where we're at right now. Um, you know, this is a, I guess, with a new coach, there is a line in the sand. Uh, we have an opportunity to to be incredibly professional on the field and incredibly professional off the field. And we'll, we'll tackle both those challenges head on. Oh, there's always a place for Robert Harvey at this football club. Um, you know, I had the privilege of, of playing against Robert many years ago and have an enormous amount of respect for him and what he brings with his pedigree and with his character. 
Uh, really look forward to sitting down with Robert and discussing the opportunities that we want to put in front of him. But he's a um, very esteemed member of this football club, always will be. Uh, and look forward to having that chat with him. So you'd like to keep him on staff? Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, I'll, I'll sit with Chris. Uh, obviously, this happens quite quickly, and, and Chris Pelton is a um, his level of expertise from a list management perspective is is outstanding. Um, so salary cap is probably tight for for a number of clubs. It's a competitive competition, um, but we'll make sure we have the balance right. We've uh, obviously still got tomorrow with trade um, to go through, but um, yeah, it's a it's a challenging time. But all clubs face the same challenges. Just wrap that he's on board. Um, even just sitting here now, the way he, he's handled um, you know, your questions and the outlook that he has for the football club. I think most importantly, from a, a play, playing perspective, um, when the change happened and, and we were in, in the interim, as a senior player, you, you, you wonder what direction a new coach would want to take um, you know, with rebuilding or, or trying to contend again. And just got saying that you know they're not mutually exclusive, and we're, we're going to be aiming to be as competitive as possible. Um, you know puts a lot of faith and um, you know, enthusiasm back into the playing group um, over, over a, a challenging month. So, yeah, look, really excited, really happy to have him on board. Um, you know, had full confidence in the, in the club and the selection committee to come up with the right person. I think they've made a, a wonderful decision. I think there is a time and place for an us-against-them mentality. Um, looking forward, uh, we want to build really strong relationships uh, with our supporter base. We want to make sure our links with the community are, are really strong and vibrant. Um, we want to make sure our media relations are, are really open and transparent. We want to be connected to, a, I guess, the broader football industry. Um, I think our players are looking forward to, to that opportunity. Um, we want to be a part of, of the bigger picture. So does the bubble e exist anymore? Did it ever exist? Uh, it's not something that's in my train of thought going forward, but we will be strong communicators. Uh, we want to play our part within a, within a bigger industry. We think that'll freshen our group and open us up and I think that'll help us play our best footy as well.